shot. Let her go. The natural world influences our future. Learning to work with it improves the odds of success. That's a skill these balloonists at a competition in Indianola, Iowa must have, if they want to win. It's neat up ahead. What we're doing with the burners, we're heating the air to make it hotter than the air outside. If the air on the inside of the balloon is warmer, we rise, and if the air on the inside of the balloon is colder than the outside air, we start descending. The balloons don't respond instantly. You have to see 30 seconds ahead, anticipate what you should do. Your decision had better be right. One balloon doesn't go faster than another. The same wind is available to everyone. Once you're up, set your course. You have to read both the earth and the sky. Yesterday, the ponds had swirls on top of them. The steam was coming off because it was cool, and we could watch, and it usually travels in a counterclockwise direction. And so they, it would, it was interesting to watch because, you know, the things that are supposed to happen in nature usually do happen. <laughs> They're kind of a good indicator. Asphalt pulls you, and it's, it heats very rapidly. You can sometimes, in a hot day, even see the heat rising. And like maybe something that's very green or has water cools much slower, and so we start getting a swirling effect. And if you were flying in one of those in a balloon, what it does is it comes up under you and takes you, in, and put, takes you way up in the air and then lets you go. Well, then you start declining very rapidly. Because you get what they call false lift, which you think you're rising because of your own power, but you're not. And so it's very dangerous. We're always in motion. Going from today to tomorrow, from now to the future. There's more than one way of getting there. The best way, know what to expect. Make the fewest mistakes. Because the only true test of a prediction is when the future arrives. It's turned out to be a nice morning.